So hi there, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to add your custom icon to your Flutter project for all platforms. By saying all platforms, I mean to say for Android, iOS, Mac OS, Windows and website. Wait, wait, we are not going to go and open each directory for each platforms and add our icon over there. That's something too lengthy. There is a simple and the easiest way to add custom icon into your Flutter project and that is by installing Flutter Launcher Icons package in your project. So let's see how to add our custom icons with Flutter Launcher Icon package. So I will be opening my Android Studio as you can see over here we do have a simple and a fresh created Flutter project and now Open your pubspec.yaml file. In your pubspec.yaml file, the first thing is that you need to do is install the Flutter Launcher Icons package. As you can see, I have already installed it. So let's start and let's install our icon into our application. So for doing that, just write this command Flutter underscore icons. The code will be provided in the description below as I'm not going to be uploading it into the GitHub repository because it's not a project, it's just a simple code that will be uploaded in the description. You can just copy and use it and you're free to make changes. Make changes mean I mean to say like you can even add Linux platform over there but in this video I will not show you how to add icon for Linux platform. And the first thing, let's add the icon for our Android. So we're going to select the Android and we're going to call launcher icon. Perfect. We have added it. Now let's set the iOS to true. After that, we're going to be passing the image path. The path where our launcher icon is stored. So as you can see over here in my launcher app icon, that means my Flutter main directory, there's an assets directory in which my image is being stored. So I will just write the path over here. Perfect. After that, I'm going to be copying this line as I need it multiple times later for defining the logo for our windows and website. After that, I will be defining the HDK Android version for my Android emulator. So I will go with min HDK Android. After that, now let's define the icon for our website. Now we have successfully defined the icon for our Android and for our iOS right over here. Now let's work with website. For website, we're going to go with web. And then we're going to write generate keyword and set it to true. And then we will just paste our image path. Simple. That's it for adding the icon for your website project in Flutter. And now let's add our icon for our Windows project. Windows, set the generate key to true. After that, you can need to have the image path. And after that, we can even change the size of our icon. For example, I will explain you right over here. For example, if when you're working on a Mac OS or you are installing a software that will be created with Flutter, the icon will display something like this. You can change the size by your own. By default, my icon size is smaller. So I'm going to be changing it right over here for Windows. But if your icon size is similar to the one that will be displayed by default, so you no need to change it. But over here, I will change it and you will learn how to change the size of the icon that you can even implement for Android, iOS, website, Windows and Mac OS. So for changing this icon size, just go with the icon size and set it to the size you need. I'll go with 48. Let's go and set the icon for Mac OS. Set the generate keyword to true and then paste the image path. That's it. All right, guys. So as you can see, we have just written these many lines of code. That is only like six to seven lines of code. 
to define the icon for Android, for iOS, for website, for Windows, and for Mac. Let's see whether it is working fine or not. But before running your application, the one thing that you need to do over here is that open the package documentation, come to the readme, scroll down, and you can see we need to run these two commands flutter pub get and flutter pub run flutter launcher icons hyphen f and then your config file name my config file name is pubspec.yaml and then we will be running the package by running this command all right so for running the commands open your terminal get into your root directory of your flutter project and by run this command flutter pub get the commands and the code will be pasted in the description to show you it will be easy for you all guys to copy and use it then run this command perfect and as you can see over here we can see that flutter launcher icons version over here and we can see that successfully generated launcher icons that means it's successfully generated now let's run our second command that means second step run the flutter pub get once again and then run this command flutter pub run flutter launcher icons great as you can see now the successfully generated the launcher icons is correct that means now our icons are added successfully to our flutter project for these platforms that we have written great so now let's test it whether it's really added or not let's get an example of it so what we're going to do over here is that as you can see my pixel 6 pro api 31 emulator is running i'm just gonna run my main.dart file i will be showing you the live example on android emulator ios emulator website and mac os software So as you can see guys, our app is running successfully. Let me just minimize my terminal over here. And now let me just come back to my home. And let me just see where is my app installed. All right guys, as you can see here is my app installed and my icon is being displayed over here. That is open bracket. For example, if I will open my image and show you, here's my icon. Actually the size of the icon is only created for iOS and macOS. So for the Android platform, it's looking something like this. But if you want, you can create the icon for your Android and you can just update it right over here by updating your path for the specific platform. Great. Now let's see how our icon looks in iOS. All right, guys, as you can see, our iOS app is built it successfully. Let's come to our home. And as you can see here is how our icon is looking our custom icon that we have assigned to our flutter project as you can see that looks good as my logo is only designed for ios and mac os as i told you earlier ignore this this was just the test that i was doing and this is the hangman tutorial that will be coming next on our flutter project series all right so now let's test it how our icon looks in website and our macOS software. Alright, so our macOS app is built it successfully and this is how our icon will look in our macOS software as you can see over here in my dock. That looks really good, clean and amazing. Perfect. So our icons are assigned to our Android, iOS and software. Now, let's see how it will look in our website. And if you want to assign it to your Linux platform, simple thing, no need to do much. What you need to do over here is that you need to just add your Linux and you generate it as true and set the image path. And if you want to change the icon size, you can change your icon size. All right, guys, as you can see over here now in our website, we can see our icon being displayed over here right over in our tablet that looks cool great so guys that's it for this video in this video you have learned how to 
add your custom icon to your flutter application for all platforms if you don't need like for windows and mac os only you need for android and ios you can just delete this code otherwise it's not needed you can even keep it depending on you all right guys if you like the video please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and press the notification bell and i will see you in the next amazing tutorial video